You can't be black. When the media shows Aborigines, they live in communities and struggle with petrol poverty and disease, so you can't be black. Uh, see, if you were black, you wouldn't have nice clothes on your back. You'd probably want to try and attack me because of the morality you lack, see, so you can't be black. Uh, see, I understand every word that you say. You speak in an educated way, talk about being prime minister one day, so you can't be black. You live in the suburbs. Have a nice car, have the tidiest yard by far. You sip on a martini in a trendy bar. You go overseas and travel afar. You talk about your law degree, your plan to save humanity. You volunteer with amnesty. So you can't be black because don't you see that they're the things I want to be. And when I look at you, I don't see me though. I can't define just what that means, but you can't be black. Half caste, he said to me. That I wasn't one of those real Aborigines. I said he spent some time with them in the outback, that he looked at my skin, said I wasn't even black. I was more brown, he went on to explain, his voice the whole time with a certain disdain. He stared a bit longer and said, I suppose when I look at your face, I see a bit of the nose. Oh, I said a bit, taken aback to this obvious expert on everything black, my head in a muddle, just trying to see why this man had a need to be questioning me. He stared a bit longer, so I said to the guy, are you waiting for me to try and justify the complexities of identity when it comes to Aboriginality? Well, he said in a know-it-all voice, I don't understand how you made a choice proclaiming that you're an Aboriginal when it's obvious that you're not really our fool. Okay, I thought, I'll play his game and proceeded to ask him what was his name. Christopher Smith, he said full of pride, a name revealing his English side. So calmly I asked my friend, what are you? He said, I'm an Aussie mate through and through. Now come on, I said, is that not a myth? From the great land of England comes the name Smith. Your heritage lies in a far away land, so to say you're from here, I don't understand. You're English, you said it, it's there in your name. And that's when all the obscenities came. Listen here, Abbo, you know it all, Coon. It seems that my friend had spoken too soon. Just moments ago, I was not the real thing. Yet now by his words, my heritage clings. Of course he was Aussie, I knew that he was, but I wanted to show him that simply because I have other bloodlines flowing through me, it does not alter my identity. The lifestyle I've lived, the way that I've grown, my heritage is something that I've always known, just in the way he is Anglo-Saxon, but yet in his heart, he is Australian. I don't question his call, I accept it as fact, so why do his questions feel like an attack, but now that he trying to prove he is right by saying I'm not black, yet I'll never be white. It seemed that the man would go back to the days when classifications were all of the craze. A quarter, a sixteenth, an eighth or a half. Stuff all that crap, cause I'm full in my heart. I'm full and I'm rich thanks to my history, the roots firmly planted in my family tree. Yet he wants to judge for he learns with his eyes, too ignorant to learn with his mind so he can't understand what it means to be black. Yet he passes his judgment so matter of fact. So I bid him good day. Okay, that's a lie, I wasn't really that nice or polite. <laughs> It's just so annoying when fools come along who spend their time trying to prove that you're wrong. I don't understand what gives them this strife, believing that they have this God-given right to tell me what I am, yet don't know my life. The arrogance just unbelievably rife. See, there are some members in my family who are blessed with the gene where they're darker than me. But to say that I'm less because my skin's not as black just shows how much knowledge these idiots lack. I speak the same language, share the same roots, so why from my colour do I have to prove to someone who never has given a day to sit with my family and learn of our ways? Whose eyes will not open for fear they will see how wrong they were in labelling me part Aboriginal, not really full. Sicking in terms that I never will give to myself or to those of my peers, so to those would be experts. Let me make this clear. What's in my heart? The connection I feel is something unseen but totally real and unless you have lived it you don't know its strength so you'll never disprove it no matter what length you go to because it is something so true just as is the Australian in you. Whatever your last name, whatever it be, Maguire or Tomic or Andrews or Lee, names that arrive from a foreign shore, yet you are Australian to your very core. So please understand when I say that I am a proud Australian Aboriginal man and though I might have other bloodlines in me, it does not alter my identity. Thank you. Oh.